नमस्कार आदाब सत्याकाल दोस्तों स्वागत है आपका एक बार फिर से हमारे यूट्यूब चैनल ब्रास फ्यूजन पर जहां आज हम आपके लिए लेकर आए हैं एक नया लेसन नाइन सिक्स सेवन वन एट एट जी मेल डॉट कॉम ये है उनका जी मेल आई क्योंकि मेरे को अब ऑफिस में देना है ना इसीलिए लिस्ट में देने वाली हूँ आज Yes, uh, you inform him, Aishi. You inform him, and uh, if possible, now you can get his uh, email ID corrected, correct email ID, so that I can share with the office. Ma'am, हाँ. Ma'am, दो या तीन लोगों को कर लो आपने मैम जिनने आपने लिखाया था, उनने भेजा है. हाँ. Ma'am, एक. तो आप. सिद्धार्थ. दो लोग. सिद्धार्थ है. सिद्धार्थ बारदवाज. Yes, ma'am. उनका वेरिफिकेशन यस मैम मैं सेंड कर दे उन्होंने भेजा है मेरे को ठीक है ठीक है तो आप ना जिनका आपको ईमेल आईडी मिली है आप मेरे को चैट बॉक्स में कमेंट कर यस मैम ठीक ठीक है आज के मेरा वॉइस ब्रेक हो रहा है पता नहीं क्यों कुछ टेक्निकल हो सकता हम शुरू कर लेते अभी ऑडिबल है इज इट ऑडिबल नाउ यस आई विल नोट यश यादव चंदन कुमार यस यस फाइन There are forty-five students. Yes, I think we will start now. Huh? Is it audible now? Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. You are audible. Yes. 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 So, uh, before we start with regard to the advantages of the formation of the company, suppose if a common person asks you, how will you define a company? Because we have seen the definition under. provision that is section 2 sub clause 20 and section 2 sub clause 11 we have seen and also we have discussed the definition that was shared by linley justice otherwise in a common parlance if somebody ask you define a company how will you define a company in an ordinary as an ordinary person how will what is no, a company that a company is a group of the people or the association of the people who are coming together to make the profit okay good any other any other want to add to what uh, balwanti has stated anybody else want to share so now my question is is that only the profit making is the motive for the formation of uh, association or uh, a company is that always the companies are formed with an objective of making the profit yes ma'am main uh, main objective is the profit but other than this uh, production is also there okay so what about the charitable companies there are companies that is registered with the object of charity and you might have seen the shadi.com and uh, jeevan sathi like this they are also functioning is it not like a company are they registered under the companies act have you ever ever you know seen their website have you ever 
noticed uh, ma'am yes, there ma are section 8 companies uh, yes. which are non uh, non for profit companies uh, which yes. are not meant for uh, making the profits yes. uh, these companies are meant for the welfare of the society and public at large yes. okay good yes uh, i think chandan was also about to say something Yes, ma'am. Uh, like a company is a legal entity, which mm -hmm. you know form a group of individual and engage and operate a business. Mm -hmm. Like for commercial use, that kind, industrial use, that kind, or even enterprises use. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So now, see, this is so when if a uh, common person is asked, it's not always. So one thing I'm taking that is, it's always an association of persons. There is no doubt about it. It's always an association of living persons. Now again, the question will come: Is it only with the living persons, or again these artificial persons who have been, uh, you know, made or declared or registered? Can they again be termed? So it is. It's only. It's. It meant. It is an association of persons, and now this association of persons are formed. with the common object they have some purpose so if you refer to section 8 varsnuti was mentioning is their object is for the charity but again if a person want to do some charity why he need to have a formation of a company it's a question why there is a need why there is a need for making you know uh, some people is having a habit of uh, doing the charity and then publishing it hai na kuch logon ko hamesha ya fir facebook mein dalna ki maine itna charity di hui hai you know like this so charity first rule is that you don't publish it but generally people do that publicity so here why there is a need for registering under the companies act even under section 8 as a charitable company why they are registering it can anyone ma'am for yes ma'am for the purpose yes and then you can say no no i will hear both of you ma'am for the purpose of transparency and for maintaining the records okay so for maintaining the records and transparency yes uh, chandan yes ma'am uh, for the welfare of the people uh, like citizen जैसे कि कोई कंपनी मैम विदाउट रजिस्टर्ड अगर कोई काम करती है मैम होता क्या है कभी कभी वो फ्रॉड भी हो जाता है तो उनकी सिक्योरिटी इंश्योर करने के लिए और जो शेयर होल्डर्स हैं जो उस कंपनी में अपना इन्वेस्ट करे हुए हैं उनकी सिक्योरिटी के लिए भी जैसे कि स्टेट उनका सिक्योर करे जैसे कोई फ्रॉड वगैरह ना हो इसके लिए इम्पोर्टेंट हो जाता है मैम ठीक है अब एक बात बताओ कि आप उसमें क्या आ, क्या कौन से इंटेंशन से आप उसमें इन्वेस्ट करते हो उस कंपनी में उस तरह से कंपनी में आपका आ, क्या आ, इन्वेस्टमेंट का पर्पस क्या होता है आपका मतलब मैम ठीक है गुड और कुछ हिमांशु को तो क्वेश्चन ही नहीं समझ में आया था है ना हिमांशु आज बीच में आस्किंग की व्हाट वाज द क्वेश्चन सो नाउ यू सी द द थिंग इज दैट इवन फॉर द चैरिटेबल कंपनी सो यू हैव मिस्ड वन पॉइंट जस्ट टू ऐड व्हाट चंदन एंड मैम इट्स इट्स टैक्स डिडक्शन टैक्स डिडक्शन देखो अब और आगे चले गए मतलब जो कॉर्पोरेट सोशल टैक्स डिडक्शन भी एक वो है ही उसका लेकिन अब एक और चीज उसमें ऐड करना चाहती हूँ क्योंकि जब आप होता है ना कि अब हाँ दूसरा एक और चीज वन थिंग आई वुड लाइक टू स्टे इट इज दैट यू नो पीपल यूज एक फैशन हो गया कि सोशल सर्विस वेलफेयर मेशर्स ऑल दीज टर्मिनोलॉजीज आर often hand we are just using hai na jaise jo hum sweet banate kheer banate hain usme jitna hum usme sugar dal sakte hain usi tarah se 
the social service, social organization, welfare of the society, all these terminologies when we are using. And ultimately, as uh, Chandan was pointing out, when any fraud comes, then taking this, what Smriti was saying, that there is a need for transparency, like, you know, uh, so is that we are anticipating or we are foreseeing that there are chances of, uh, you know, creation of the fraud, then we need protection for that we are forming a company again, right? So now the thing is that one aspect I'm borrowing from Chandan is that investment. Terminology used is the investment. So in this type of uh, companies, it's only you all will agree that only the companies are the entities who are legally allowed to accept the investment from the public. And since it is coming in the public platform, their liability, accountability and the transparency will come into picture. So the purpose, why the companies, it's all, of course, as uh, you know, Balwanti was pointing out, the profit. So profit is there. And if you see what Yeshua was saying, you know, tax evasion. So what they're doing is that the profit is made by the company. And after that, it is in the name of even the corporate social responsibility or the for the welfare measures. Then the companies are formed and registered with the object. And again, they are even with that charitable companies, profits are generated, but indirectly, not directly, indirectly. They got they get some exemptions. And even when they are giving the scholarships or even if they are spending for the education, if you see many of the educational institutions have started entry in our country late. You see, we can see how many uh, starting from the play school, a lot of people have started or venturing into the educational sector and education has become a commodity. It has become a commercialized commodity where people can purchase it. So, and if you see, if you read their bylaws or if you read their establishment, their objective is the social service and the charity in the name of the charity. So as so we were discussing, how will you define a company again? So coming back to it, we can just say in simple terms, company means an association of persons formed for the purpose to achieve some common object. And this association of persons signifies the association of like minded persons who are carrying on some business or undertaking. Right. And there is, uh, I will rely upon the, you know, the, again, apart from the Linley, there is a book on Gower and Davis. They have written in the, the chat box I've typed, that's the principles of modern company law. So, as I told you in the evolutionary perspective, it is from the Britishers we have borrowed the, you know, company's perspective. So, they're in their book, how they have defined the company is the term company implies an association of number of people for some common object or objects. Then the further they described as the purposes for which men and women. So they used the genders men and women may wish to associate are multifarious ranging from those as basic as marriage. So you can see here the event, you know, nowadays we have, but uh, unfortunately due to the COVID, there is a huge impact on this industry. Otherwise we have the theme wedding. All these, if you see the event, event, uh, you know, companies, event organizers, companies were registered, all you know, huge companies have started. So what they're doing for the marriage, so also there a kind of association is formed. Then this is the first aspect. Then he also referred to the other aspect that is the mutual protection. Mutual protection against the elements to those as sophisticated. He used the terminology of 
sophisticated as the objects of the confederation of british industry so since it is the british uh, author and he was referring to the company but we can see the same scenario in our country as well so he has referred to the confederation of british industry but we have our own federation of trade and commerce in our country so british industry or the political party so he has given a wide range of uh, events or the association of the people under the terminology of the company okay so under the terminology of the company you should understand that it is not only the company that is registered under the companies act of uh, of course if there is a need for registration if you want to get termed as a company but at the same time it is an association of the like minded people who are coming together with the objective varying from the profit making to carrying on some other kind of uh, you know as a business or economies but ultimately the the plus point of formation of the company is that you can get the investment from the public so gradually once you enter into the market and when you enter into the share shareholding and all and when you expand your business then you start trading you can sell your shares and then you can raise the fund for the Uh, organizing your events and with the protection aspect we know that it is we uh, we have this life insurance corporations life insurance business and now we can see how it is flourishing of course uh, due to this covid even that industry also suffered and uh, but they have come up in the market with their you know covid coverage quick or immediate online policies they have launched starting from the government companies to the private entities or private companies so what we can see is that the company it includes it's not that only the profit uh, motive they have they can carry on but any kind of business only thing is that it is an association of the like minded person with some common object so if the object is for the charity then it will become the charitable company that again we will be discussing when we are uh, discussing with the different types of companies so this definition also you have to note down or you have to remember like it is an association of the person formed for the purpose to achieve some common objects then again we discussed or we stated that it's a legal institution because companies are legal institution so burley again it's again another person excuse me ma'am yes please ma'am uh Ma'am, can't we say that companies also form for getting social status, ma'am, because of fame and that's so, all. Because many people do it for getting the social status and become famous also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. You see, that's what now. Now the earlier concept of uh, company has changed. Now, if you are a director of a particular company, now you remember one aspect. If if you are for the fame, you are doing. the moment that fame is gone then you are become you know responsible as well so if it is a social status or a so social symbol also if you are if you are doing your liability comes always remember it is with the liability clause your freedom is with your liability so if you are publishing and if you are saying that i am so and so i am director and i have i am running this much of companies when the loss comes in the name of the company itself it is but now the liability has been changed because now the directors are also made liable because it's not that act of the company alone so 2019 when the amendment has taken place a lot of things are, the responsibility is fixed on the directors so but yes you can say that it is the social status also can be added to it so now it is not only so this uh, burley according to him he says that it is not only a legal institution but a legal device he used the terminology of legal device so that is what now i am answering to the question raised by balwanti that is it's a legal device for attainment of any social or economic end and to the larger extent publicly and socially responsible so 
a company is a combination of political social economic as well as the legal institution so this is a gist it's a combination of political social economic and legal institution apart from that it is also an intricate it is an intricate centralized economic administrative structure okay it is a centralized so always they organize in a centralized manner intricate intricacy is there and economic administrative structure run by whom run by the professional managers who hired the capital from the investor so now they are very smart people the professionals they are very smart people we have seen i think you all uh, you will be knowing that the big bazaar has been taken by the reliance group so now let us see what all other industries they are going to venture on so they are the smart people or we can say the professional managers who hire the capital from the investor so the you are investing it with a profit making you know intention so you may gain a profit but sometimes it happens that you may be a loser but only thing is that when you lose it will be only the amount that you have invested not apart from that so your loss is limited to the amount of the investment you have made whereas in case of the partnership and the sole trader it will it is a you know loss of everything starting from their scratch their home all the personal things can be taken but here that is the advantage so now coming to the advantage of the formation of the company first is the independent corporate existence this is the first advantage of the formation of a company that is they stand independently they stand independently from its founders and the case laws relating to this we will be discussing at a later uh, in the coming classes but I, uh, now i am only giving you the pointers of the advantage of a company as well as uh, you can term it as the features or the salient features of the formation of the company what are the salient features of the formation of the company or what is the advantage of formation of the company is it not sufficient you be a sole trader and you take lesser risk and then you venture out second aspect is the partnership you are you know two people or two brains are better than a single brain sometimes so you are hiring one more person or three more persons and then you are starting a uh, you know partnership firm and you know in in one entrepreneurial class one person asked you know the sir asked a question he asked who is the most powerful person in this whole world who is a uh, who is the most powerful but this was the question asked uh, in a entrepreneurial class so some students answered that you know the doctor because he's uh, is powerful because when you are sick you are going so he's powerful you know so people are giving the answers and ultimately uh, you know then somebody said it is a you know political person politician like this started lawyer but for everything the answer that was given by the sir was that you are all wrong the most powerful person in this whole world is the businessman it used the term businessman because if you are an entrepreneur and if you are having a good business acumen they all become your employees they all becoming your you know they will all work under you so this is the powerful thing that the business acumen or the entrepreneur leads he will hire the doctor he will hire the lawyer he will hire the engineer or even the politician can be hired so this is what the uh, you know impact of having the business acumen and that when you start or venture out and if you take more risk actually they are also taking the risk sometimes you know uh, if you ask a business person for 1000 rupees he will be having lot of shares and everything but to take the currency note maybe at that time he will not be having that does not mean that he is not a poor so he is a poor person so always what happens everything is measured in terms of the shares and the investment they are having so independent so company is having an independent existence so once a company is formed then that will have an independent existence 
or we can also say that it's a separate legal entity and the case which have decided the Salomon versus Salomon and company limited we will be discussing but one thing you have to keep in mind once it is formed and registered and incorporated then there is nothing you can say that it is mine you cannot say that it is my company though we generally use if you are the director it is uh, it's my company but it is separate it is having its own name because it is not known as uh, you know ambani company it is known as the reliance so the name that is given so the company is having its own name whoever the person is behind is secondary but the company's name comes into picture now second aspect or the second advantage of the formation of company is the limited liability limited liability concept signifies that the liability your liability is limited to the shares you held so whatever the amount or the investment you have made that is your liability not beyond that there is no question of making you penalized beyond that and thirdly the advantage of the formation of the company is having a separate property so you can a company can in its own name can hold a property and it is not in the name of the director it is in the name of the company and if suppose if a director is selling the land he is having to the company and he is earning the profit of it he should disclose his interest is he is supposed to disclose his interest it's not that it's okay because it is my own company so i am uh, you know giving it i am investing in it so the profit also becomes mine when you are giving it and at the time of the liquidation it's not your name it is the company's name comes so accordingly it will be sold off and the profit that is uh, received after the uh, you know selling of the property will go in the account or in the name of the company only you cannot say that it was mine or it was my personal thing and i just gave it a so nothing will be heard so a separate property then the fourth point is the perpetual succession perpetual succession signifies king may come and king may go but long live the kingdom so similar with regard to the companies it will have the long association it will continue it will continue without any break without any break it will go whoever is the person who is looking after it will not get affected so perpetual succession then the fifth advantage is it is capable of suing and being sued so the company can sue as well as they can be sued okay so this is another so once if a company is registered or incorporated then in the name of the company suit can be filed and against the company also suit can be filed then sixth advantage is the transferability of the shares so the interest of the people in this is recognized through the means of the shares and the shares that means your interest can be transferred suppose today i'm having 50 shares of a particular company if i require i can transfer it i can transfer the same to any other person i can sell it so once i am transferring it then the the person other person will get the title so i will not be getting any more i will be associated with the company so transferability of the shares it can be easily transferred then the seventh advantage of the formation of the company is its management now what does this management signifies what is this management signifies management consists of the board of directors then the managing director then the company secretary associated and all the people so management signifies the professionally professionally venturing into or looking into the affairs of the company so the strong the management is the strong the visionaries of the management is the company will have 
you know take the disadvantageous position as well for their benefit so even even you can you might have observed nowadays facebook is also showing their advertisements in the tv have you observed have you observed the ad given by the uh, facebook yes ma'am yes right and of what so, also yes so why they are forced why they are giving this uh, advertisement i am surprised to know ki why um, face because otherwise also facebook is now generally as it and when the covid started even the old generation people also started using the facebook so now why they are using this opportunity why they are using and what was the motivation now we we have seen that still there are there is generational gap so the older people are not getting connected with the social media platform and once you are in the social media platform you can advertise easily and how much that will influence your decision making is we have seen how much it is influencing right so the product that you want to choose so every day starting from the morning you start brushing your teeth till the time you go to sleep everything is decided by the you know business magnets what kind of paste you need to use what kind of dress you want to wear what kind of food you need to use uh, have okay what kind of people you need associated with also you can see that you are getting the friend suggestions is it not so you can so this is how they are influencing you all your decision making depends and uh, sometimes the reality in the home will be different but you are just you know publishing your um, beautiful pics in the online platform then the others will also feel it's a kind of competition that happens so you can see how the opportunity has been used so this is actually the management tactics the management whoever is ruling or whoever is involved they are taking the situation because now sitting at home whole day so then obviously the people will be watching the you know tv and if you all switch on it sushant case or you know all these related things are coming so in between the ad is also coming all sensational news so and how many covid so nowadays covid has taken a secondary seat earlier it was the you know how many in your area and the red zone these were the uh, prominence so everything is now influenced by the you know the social media platforms and now they are the event managers so they are managing us so the idea of somebody who is managing the google or i mean um, of course google also come up with you see the google class meet now right now which we are using they also come up with their features and now again there is a you know uh, thing that is uh, why not we use the uh, what is the other one uh, microsoft zoom zoom yeah zoom was now now zoom has become the older version right so zoom is used for the webinars and as zoom is used for the webinars but you see the for the classroom management now there is uh, the yes yes microsoft teams so schools are uh, using the microsoft teams you know now it has become a huge task because if uh, for the for my son it is the microsoft teams and for us it is the google so all this technology related so you know sometimes we forget our lives now we are just learning relearning the technology and and uh, making understand so and this scenario or this uh, i used to now uh, nowadays i'm getting the advertisements of uh, you know classroom also you can use this for the effective and all so how the management or how the technology has now taken or overpowered us is also the advantage so management when i'm speaking about the advantages this is how because you can hire the good persons you can hire the good visionaries in your company because of your wider so people if suppose if uh, you are getting an offer from the uh, you know facebook looking into your profile and other uh, you were you know extra curricular activities why don't you join you will obviously you will join for it because it's a good firm or it's a good company right and you are you will be just seeing that your compensation that is provided with will also be good compensation you will you are going to receive from the uh, by working for the facebook 
so the management is also an important the good the management the good visionary the management of a company is the company will prosper and take an advantage but not the others like the sole trader or the partners will be in a position to take up so that is the seventh advantage of formation of a company and the last advantage okay is the finances finances or how to acquire more money so the company is the only form of business organization which is given a privilege so remember it's not a right i'm using the terminology of a privilege privilege for raising the capital from the public so the public can suppose if the facebook comes for you know with their shares in the open market or sale then obviously people will purchase it right so now the energy you know environmental uh, companies so you, uh, there is a shift from the you know media or we can media investment to this type of uh, companies now so you can raise the finance for your company from the public okay of course you have to follow the rules and regulations but there is no bar but a partnership firm or a sole trader cannot raise money from the public this privilege is associated only for a company that is incorporated under the companies act so these are the advantages of the formation of the company and the sometimes you know the same advantages will become the disadvantages as well for a company so today's advantage will become the tomorrow's disadvantage so now when we are used to the technology for everything some sometimes if you see the calculation also we are depending on the calculator that are provided in our mobile phones that now we forgot to have our mental maths and for that also abacus so that everything has become a business again so abacus has uh, you know a, another form of uh, venturing out or to have your own you know brain working and all you are uh, doing for that so the system or the things are the opportunities how you venture into it and how you use it as a platform for organizing and the forming the company is the advantage of having a company in the society of course the other aspects you know having the help for the society for the economic growth and everything is right but at the same time these eight are you know in a brief we can say the advantages starting from the independent corporate existence limited liability separate property perpetual succession then uh, capability of uh, suing and being sued transferability of the shares management and the finances so these are the eight forms of advantages relating to the formation of a company so next class uh, we will discuss the disadvantages of the company so let me take your attendance if you have any doubt you can ask dosto agar aapko aaj ka lesson pasand aaya ho to video ko like kare इसी के साथ अगर आपने अभी तक हमारा चैनल सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो सब्सक्राइब के बटन पर क्लिक करिए और बेल आइकन दबाना ना भूलें ताकि आपको एजुकेशन से रिलेटेड नए नए अपडेट्स मिलते रहें और अधिक जानकारी पाने के लिए आप हमारे फेसबुक और इंस्टाग्राम पेज से भी जुड़ सकते हैं जिसका लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में दिया गया है धन्यवाद